It's Dr. Cody Raw with Tech for Psych. So the bad news is that my emotive insight that I had for three to four years started to have connectivity issues. I tried to troubleshoot things and I documented that in a separate video. But the good news is that I got a new emotive insight. The connectivity for that one is just fine. So we're gonna take a look at the x-ray image of the emotive insight and dissect my old one to see what's inside of it. It should be super fun. But real quick before we dive into it, if you like these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notifications when I upload new videos. All right, let's roll right into the content here. So just doing a little research on the emotive insight before I perform surgery on it. It's actually kind of fun because the website, if you look at it, I've got the, uh, just search emotive insight on Google and bring up the website and uh, you can go to the Emotive Insight page and it's fun. It's like they've taken an x-ray image of the device. It's almost like we're looking at the x-ray image before doing surgery on it. <laughs> you can see they've got each one of the five sensors here, reference electrodes, and they're all feeding the voltage change into the amplifier, which is sending out via Bluetooth to the iPad, iPhone, or computer to analyze the EEG signal. Got the little charge light there on the side and a bunch of circuitry, so it'll be interesting to actually take this thing apart and see if it matches this x-ray image. So first things first, I just took off all the sensors to get them out of the way. You can see that one of them is the black version that I ordered off the internet to try to fix the connectivity issues. It didn't exactly work, but hey, at least I can just dissect the device now. You can also see in the middle of the device there, we already took out one of the sensors that goes on your temples, and it's got like a little copper tag that feeds into the circuitry. I had read that the best way to take apart a plastic device is with something else that is plastic to avoid harming the plastic. And I had just gotten a bunch of new guitar picks, so I figured this is probably the best way to just try to crack open the seams on the device. Although I'm not gonna be using this headset anymore for measuring actual brain waves, I did wanna keep it intact. I didn't really wanna destroy it. But after trying to open one of these sensors with the guitar pick, I realized that it wasn't quite working either, so I got a screwdriver and popped it open. I didn't feel too bad about sacrificing one sensor. Once I got the sensor open, it got really interesting. You can see the green stuff, the polymer, that's a part of the sensor that's picking up the brain waves has really lost all of its moisture over time and is now just flaky and without any sponginess to it. And you can see the copper metal piece part of the sensor has some wear and tear on it as well. It was a little bit oxidized even and uh, it left behind some copper on the, the dry polymer gel of the sensor. It was fun to think about what's actually going on in the sensor when the device is detecting brain waves. To think that the voltage changes from the brain are being transmitted through the dry polymer and affecting the electrons in the copper plating of the circuit, and then the circuit transmitting that information into the amplifier to be analyzed by the, the device and the smartphone is just a really interesting thought exercise. All right, so this is where the experiment went a little sideways. I had all these guitar picks put into the seams of the Emotive Insight and trying to open it up, but it just wouldn't seem to give and I didn't want to break it open. And so I kept trying different things and finally I figured out that the front panel with the Emotive logo actually comes off and underneath of it are a bunch of bolts that you can unscrew, making it so that you can open up the device very easily. No guitar picks needed. All right, so one of the first things that I noticed is that the wiring from the reference electrodes that go behind your ear, when they were going into the circuit board, they actually came right out of the receiver as I was opening up the plastic covering. Now, I'm not sure if that's what was causing the connectivity issues, but it could have been that the device wasn't properly grounded. When I tried to tug on the wiring of the other sensors, they were more securely attached to the receiver on the circuit board. Now, if anybody has tips on how to reconnect something like that, I'd like to know, and maybe I could get the connectivity of this one working again. So obviously a really cool looking circuit board. It had two layers. The most obvious pieces were the connector for the back arm piece, the wiring coming in for each one of the sensors, the charging light, and several microchips that are doing the amplifier and Bluetooth capabilities that allow it to receive EEG information and transmit it to the smartphone. 
that concludes our journey today of taking a look in the emotive insight i didn't want to break it completely apart because i would like to try to get to work again if you guys have thoughts questions or insights leave them in the comment section below thanks so much for watching please subscribe i'm going to have another video coming out very soon about what i did to troubleshoot the connectivity of this to generate ideas on if this problem comes up again what people can do about it thanks again keep your eye out for more videos i'll talk to you again real soon